first day of spring is less than a week away, but it sure it doesn't feel or look like spring outside. No, Hannah was just saying she went outside and it was very cold. <laughs> so why not cure your winter blues and bring a little spring indoors? Yeah, uh, good day garden guy Dale Kay is sharing his top picks for indoor blooms. G'day everyone. Even though there is a lot of snow on the ground, there's always a couple of indicators that spring is on its way and I follow a few very closely. Number one is geese and birds. In my neighborhood, the geese are back and also the robins are back as well. So that's a sure sign that spring is on the way. Also maple tree tapping, kind of almost starting in earnest now. And then the other indicator I always watch is when I go to my favorite local garden shop, I always see when they start to expand their color selection and that's exactly what I've found this morning. So don't worry, even though there's still snow on the ground, spring is definitely on its way. So take, let's take a look at some of my favorite ways to add a little spring indoors, because as we know, it's a little bit early to plant outdoors right now. But the first one is all these wonderful bulbs. And I have a great selection here. There's hyacinth, which is quite fragrant. This one here, you'll find them in a range of different colors. Of course, tulips. These are forced, of course, as well. And then also you'll find like little arrangements of bulbs to, in a collection called Bulb Gardens. They are fantastic for bringing indoors and kind of signaling the start of spring, because let's face it, we're kind of all itching to get back out into the garden. Also, some things that you'll find, uh, St. Patrick's Day, of course, right around the corner, but apart from just the straight green oxalis, there is this one right here, which is, kind of, is the purple version. And I like to use this actually in my container gardens as well. So you can hang on to this one and pop it into your outdoor containers as well. Calla lilies, a, a wonderful force bulb. You'll find these also in a range of colors, anywhere from white to this lovely kind of uh, magenta color. You'll find them in yellows as well. Gabura daisies, nothing says spring like a little Gabura daisy. Um, quite fabulous to have inside and they also make great cut flowers as well so keep an eye out for gabura daisies oftentimes you'll see um, cactus in at, in november and during the holiday season um, you'll also find these wonderful cactus as an Easter version as well, like a spring cactus, um, a great alternative for uh, a very hardy plant and blooms that also last a long time. Also begonias, fantastic. You'll find those in yellows and reds and whites and kind of blush, um, blush pinks as well. I kind of like the intense orange, kind of looks like a kind of a Hawaiian sunset almost, which is really, really fun. If you're looking for inexpensive color, almost as cheap as chips, little primrose, a great cool season Annual. If you were to go to, to Vegas or down to Arizona, you'll find a lot of these planted as spring uh, or cool season annuals. They do like the cooler weather. So up on a windowsill, that would be absolutely fantastic position for one of those guys. Now, I don't. I want to kind of kind of tempt the taste buds, wet the appetite for the spring season, if you like. Uh, I want you to take a look at a brand new hydrangea that's going to be out in 2023 or this spring. 2023. It's from the Endless Summer series and its name is Popstar. And I know there's been a lot of mixed success with the original Endless Summer Hydrangea, but this particular one, uh, not only does it stay compact, which is quite a wonderful attribute, but it will bloom off of, uh, it will bloom profusely in our climate. We're of course in zone four. This one is designed to bloom in cooler temperatures or survive the winter, bounce up a little bit quicker and keep performing. So again, the name is Popstar and you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye out for that um, this spring at your favorite local garden shop uh, and definitely worth the plant. Trust me on this one, I think we got it right. So a wonderful array of color that you can incorporate into your home to get a little bit of a jump start on spring because we're all itching for it and plants can help us bridge that gap. Back to you. Oh, Dale, Pop that star. was amazing. Beautiful. Because I've tried the, the, and I forget what they're Acid. called already, the, the hydrangeas, but like the, the series he was talking mm -hmm. about, and like all five that I've purchased in like the last three or four years have died because they just, I just can't get them. Maybe this but one. But that one. That one is beautiful. They're so And I pretty. know if you have just, you know, your standard, uh, uh, those flowers. Hydrangeas. Hydrangeas, thank there you. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, d by kind of changing the soil a little bit, adding a little bit more acidity, you can kind of change the color a little bit. Not anything probably that spectacular, which is, by the way, beautiful. I just, I love those. And I love any blue flowers. My blue delphiniums, it's like the best part of spring when they start to bloom. Like, ah, the blue, delphiniums. Blue is a rare color it in is. Like nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting some blue is nice. I like that. It is.